Okay, Sagittarius. Okay, my love. So this is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sagittarius in the North Node. Um, <laughs> I'm not really getting any channel message for you, Sagittarius. But for some reason, I feel like I want to take a shot. Like, I feel like I want to drink. So some of you guys could be at the bar. You could be getting invited out to, like, um a party or something like that i just feel like you guys have really fun energy like i don't know i want to turn up with you can i can i party can I, can I party with you i feel like a lot of people want to sit at your table sagittarius i'm not gonna lie i feel like a lot of people are kind of looking at what you got going on and i feel like this is grass is greener like yeah i want to be wherever sagittarius is because their grass looks green as fuck like so i don't know what you're doing or what you have going on or what you're planning but if you're telling people like hey i got this party i'm about to go to or i have this event or this idea or this person or whatever yeah they feel like you're the plug okay or you could have just met somebody that's the plug maybe some of you guys um just got acquainted with somebody who you thought who you thought was a good person like when i say good i mean like normal okay i guess like a regular person but then you get to know them and they have like a whole underground life going on like okay so let's expose this so we have uh the how is in the now what has your intuition been trying to tell you and express yourself creatively start something new what creative pursuit do you feel drawn to yeah but i feel like you're already doing this though like ooh, 9 30 that's my birthday interesting hmm so you could be done with a libra sagittarius or an aries um but anyway Sagittarius I feel like yeah your intuition is trying to to tell you something they want you to move forward uh with something or they want you to go towards something or someone uh I feel like if you've been dreaming about somebody like non-stop or you know randomly yeah that's them that's the one that's the person who you've been inquiring about or if you've been asking the universe to show you a sign or to ask uh about something or someone if they're the right one if they show up in your dream, no matter in what condition they show up, they are the one. Yes. You're not going to see anyone in your dreams who you're not, uh, who's not in your Akashic records. You're not going to see anyone in your dreams that's not in your Akashic rec records already. I'll say that. Who's not in there already. You know how, um, have you guys ever heard that um, ideology that when you see someone's face in a dream, you have known that person before because the brain cannot create faces. So... If you see someone in your dream that you don't know in real per in real life, that person is a part of your Akashic records. That's why you're seeing them. I feel like you don't even know somebody from a can of paint or like you thought you knew them or you thought you knew how they were or what they get into, but you don't. I'm seeing a rainbow on this card too. What the hell is this? Are you guys seeing like rainbows for confirmation or something like that? Somebody could be wearing like rainbow or tie dye. This is especially for you if you got one um, multicolored stuff. Um... You guys are channeling a lot, but I feel like this is why the universe is saying to express yourself creatively because all of your ideas is coming through the your mind. You don't even need tarot. Like you already are getting downloads like crazy. I feel like you haven't really been sharing a lot of these things because some of them make you feel a little bit a little bit crazy, or you know, maybe you just know that intuitively you're not supposed to be sharing everything that you are feeling or knowing or thinking or wondering good that's good don't until you're ready to pop out you know all right i don't have anything else to say <laughs> let's get into the tarot what's coming off the sagittarius someone rising in venus sagittarius in the north node somebody thinks you are fine as fuck or i feel like you are you got crushing on somebody real hard <laughs> Okay, so the strength card in reverse, Leo energy. All right, so I feel like um, hmm, some of you guys could have uh, Chiron or Saturn in Leo. And there is an energy here of uh, not feeling confident enough to go through with something at the moment. This is why your ancestors are on your ass. This is why you are, you are getting downloads nonstop or why something will not stop nagging you or bugging you in the back of your mind because... They want you to notice something. This is going to be dramatic, but I'm hearing it before it's too late. They want you to notice something before it's too late. You feel drawn to something. So this question is asking you, what creative pursuit do you feel drawn to? Whatever that is, do that. Why are you nervous? Why are you scared? Why do you feel like you're not going to be able to pull it off? You can. I feel like um, 
Yeah, we have the judgment in reverse here. So somebody is just like, I feel like they are self-sabotaging with thinking that this is not it. It is it, though. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Leo. Yeah. They're the one. I'm sorry, I just got distracted. <laughs> What's distracting you, Sagittarius? I feel like some of you guys need to put your phone on. Do not disturb while you're working out or while you're at work. Or you already do this to avoid something or somebody. Like, you're trying to avoid something. So, you put your phone on. Do not disturb. So, avoidance is the issue here. I feel like um, somebody is trying to get around the truth so that they don't have to feel guilty about not doing it. So, this feels like the energy of like, oh, uh, well, I'm going to go to the bathroom at the end of class when I know she's going to give out the homework so that I don't have to do the homework. And then when I come the next day, I'm going to just tell her I wasn't here. Like... All right, but why though? I don't understand why are you guys doing this or why is someone doing this to you? We have the four of cups in reverse and the emperor card. Um, so I feel like somebody wants to kind of keep the control that they have over themselves or their life. Moving, starting that new job, starting that new relationship, you know, ending that job, ending that relationship will require you to walk into the unknown and I feel like that's scary for you Sagittarius I feel like again some of you guys have the, that uh Leo placement that's a little bit stunted or something and it's just like yeah you don't really have faith in something or like you know the last time you put yourself out there and risked it all or you put all your cards on the table you got burned and this is why you're kind of like, no, like I cannot put myself in a position to be vulnerable again. I cannot put myself in a position to be weak again. I feel like you don't hardly even speak on shit, Sagittarius. Like you have thoughts, you have ideas, you have uh, advice that you want to chip in, but you're not, but you're like holding back. You're holding back because you're thinking way too hard about like the outcome. Someone isn't making a move because like it's like they want to keep the power that they have. But see, this is a false sense of power here. Like somebody feels like they have power by like not doing something or by not saying something or by not taking control over something. But I, honestly, it's the opposite. Like you're losing power here because whatever it is that you think that you are doing correctly is not helping you to be your best self. So let's say, for instance, like you have an apartment, Sagittarius, right? And it's just like, oh, well, you know, I've accomplished this and I'm not going to ever try to move or ever try to upgrade where I am because if I move, I might not like it or I might not be able to handle the bills. But at least I got this, though. So can't nobody say nothing about me because I'm already established. OK, I mean, you can look at it that way if you want. So what are you just going to stay there forever? Are you never going to get a house? What happens if you like meet people and you want to like, you know upgrade your living situation or something it's like somebody is comfortable and they're trying to talk themselves out of doing something else so that they don't have to be responsible for the outcome there's also uh this is not going to resonate for everybody but somebody needs to make a decision about a, a pet or an animal I feel like somebody wants an animal out of the apartment or out of the house and somebody else is like, no, like that's my animal or that's my bitch. This could also be like um, an argument over a relationship here with the Ten of Cups and the Nine of Swords. I'm also hearing ignorance is bliss. Somebody needs to get right before they get left. did it, did it, did it, did it, did I don't know why I had to just say it like that. Somebody needs to get right before they get left. I don't know why that came out like that, but it did. Yeah. So what's the overall energy here? Because I'm not really um, like I see where this is going, but what's the overall energy? The Queen of Cups. So you need to uh, tap more into your um, emotional creative side, Sagittarius. Like some of you need to tap more into your, your emotions and the other half of you need to tap more into your intuition. 
because you're like blocking something on purpose or you're avoiding something on purpose i'm seeing somebody like doing karate moves like hiya hiya but they're like blocking shit like no <laughs> i'm here and kicking it like bruce lee or something like that some of you guys could be watching karate kid or like uh watching rerun reruns about wwe or something like that but yeah it's just like somebody's afraid to be happy somebody i just want to be happy Okay, like, let me get one more card for the Queen of Cups because she looks really lonely over here. What's the Queen of Cups? I feel like your intuition is trying to tell you how to be happier. Like, they're trying to guide you to happiness and it's just like, y'all are like, look at this. Look at how this deck is, how this spread is coming up. Come on, come on. <laughs> we got the Emperor, the Ten of Cups, and the Nine of Swords. Does this seem like it goes together to y'all? I don't think so. It's like someone is sitting here as a boss. Like, yeah, I got all my stuff together. You know, I'm I'm the big CEO. I'm the big man. I'm the big one. I'm the one you got to come to. This, you got to come see me. And then, they, you know, the Ten of Cups is here. And then, boom, the Nine of Swords. Now, how are you running stuff and you happy? But then when you get home, you Nine of Swords in it. That's not cool. Somebody also needs to have a conversation with a Leo, an Aries, or a Taurus, or a Scorpio real bad. Um, specifically about, like, something that could have happened in the past. I feel like somebody is wanting to come to you, Sagittarius, and have a conversation about, like, a one-on-one, -on -one, like a heart-to-heart. -heart. This person, they really, they got some shit to get off their chest. And I'm not getting, like, this is aggressive or, like, malicious or nothing like that. This is just, like... I feel like somebody really wants to, like, you know, hey, I really care about you. Like, I really feel bad about something or I really want to uh, ask for your forgiveness for something. Yeah, well, a fortune in reverse. So somebody is stopping themselves from, like, expressing emotions or creating something that would make them happy. It's like... You know, or they're or somebody is unable to pursue something that they really want to do, possibly because of like family or friends or lovers. It's like, you know, I really want to go to Paris, but I don't want to leave my mom. She's sick or she just doesn't really have money or she doesn't have anybody else here but me. Some of you guys are watching Encanto, that Disney movie. But yeah, this feels like the energy of like, uh, you're kind of trying to figure out if you want to stick with the old or step into the new, out with the old and with the new. Like somebody is thinking like, but what if I mess up or what if I don't get it right? Or what if this doesn't go as planned? What's the advice here for Sagittarius? Because I don't even know what to tell y'all. I'm not going to lie. It's like, I know what to tell you, but it's easier said than done, right? Like, anybody can just be like, just take the leap. You can do it. Like, you, you're you never going to know until you try. But that's not motivational. Like, if I if I wanted to take the risk, I would have been did that. Don't you think that I know that I need to take a step? <laughs> Don't you think I know that? Like, I hear you saying that. Don't you think I know that? Somebody could be like trying to boss you around Sagittarius or like, I don't know. They're trying too hard to get you to go in a certain direction. And it's just like, all right, like, relax. Like, trust me, I understand what you're saying. I hear you. But watch who you're talking to, though. Um, Yeah, I feel like if you have a, a Scorpio or a Taurus. Okay, let me just say this. If you have an earth sign or a water sign, maternal figure. Friends, lover child this person is trying to get you out of a cycle so if they start coming off like real abrasive it's only because they want the best for you um but yeah still follow your own intuition sagittarius because something might um Okay, let's just keep going, my love. So we got the Ace of Cups. The advice is the Ace of Cups, the Hierophant, and the King of Swords. Baby steps. You know, do what feels right for you. You don't have to, to put all of your cards on the table. You don't have to put all your chips out, Sag. But you, 
it would be beneficial and wise of you to like commit to something or commit to the idea of something even if you're not going to necessarily take action first like do something little by little instead of like going all in because i feel like that's another thing too with you sagittarius you are a uh, mutable sign so it's like you guys do a lot you do a lot of different things maybe it's time to just commit yourself to one thing and instead of like trying to go all in uh it's just time to kind of like you know ride the wave this feels like somebody is going from like the jack of all trades to like the master of one. Like, yeah, I don't want to keep on like being all over the place and like, you know, I'm saying this or, you know, I'm over here with these people and then I got a kind of chameleon to be over here with these people. It's like, no, I just kind of want to be somewhere that feels like home. <laughs> some of you guys could be watching Cheers. I feel like some of y'all going to be too young to understand what that reference is. But like, you know, the theme song, sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. Like, damn, can I get a little bit of like accolade? Can I get some credit? Can somebody, you know, call me my name? Can somebody get my name right? I feel like somebody keeps pronouncing your name wrong too, Sagittarius. Like, it's, it's fucking weird. Or they keep on like, uh, they are committed to how they feel about you or something like that. Ooh, baby. Let me pull one more oracle for y'all and then I'm gonna let y'all go because this is the longest read I got. Leader of the light, where are you being called to serve and support others? Yeah, take that leap of faith, Sagittarius. Whether it's like with someone else or for someone else. You know, or even if you're sharing your gifts with other people so that it can help them there in the future, like baby step it. Like, don't feel like you have to have everything perfect or like you got to do all of this extra stuff before you start. Just start <laughs> and then work your way up from there one day at a time. And do not deal with nobody that is not patient during your process. I'm trying to tell you, if you get with somebody that's all like, oh, my God, like, ah, like no, please. If you're with somebody that keeps on trying to, like, dictate everything every single second, they don't even give you a moment to, like, get your thoughts together or your bearings together, that's not going to work. 